Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an updated skincare routine because I haven't done one of these since probably like early 2015 and my skincare routine has definitely changed a little bit. I still use a couple of the same products but like I think I finally nailed down something that I'm gonna stick to for a really long time because I don't know I see results you know. Um, my skin is in a pretty decent shape right now. I definitely have like a bit of acne scarring just from my teen years. I'm still a teen. I don't know why I'm acting like I'm not. But yeah, I don't know. Long story short is I think my skin is doing good right now and I want to share it with the world and talk about all the products and rave about things because you guys know I love to rave. <laughs> not that kind of raving, but um, yeah. So the products I'm going to be talking about in this video are going to be first my morning products and then my nighttime products and then my masks that I love. So let's start with the morning products. Okay. So the cleanser that I use both in the morning and actually at night is Herbalism from Lush and I've been talking about this for probably like two years now. I'm honestly convinced that herbalism saved my skin because I don't know other cleansers with like benzoyl peroxide and stuff like that just never sat well on my skin. It just never turned out well. Anything with like salicylic acid, none of that ever really felt too great on my face. And the results from those ingredients were just never up to par for me, you know? So this one contains nettles and rosemary to balance and cleanse the skin with almonds and rice bran to gently exfoliate. So those are definitely some interesting uh, ingredients there. But yeah, you guys know what it looks like, right? Looks like pot. If you have acne prone skin, if you have oily skin, get this in your life, okay? I've been raving about it for two years, why haven't you? And then the next and last product that I use in the mornings is just a really thin moisturizer. This is Lush's Vanishing Cream, and this is something that was introduced to me in October when I was in Toronto. I actually hit up the Lush store because I ran out of like my daily um, moisturizer that I was using, and I told the lady, I was like, listen, all right? I got really oily skin. I don't like too heavy of a moisturizer. I like something that will kind of sit under my makeup if I feel like doing makeup that day. I probably wear makeup like once a week, though now so maybe that helps my skin as well as just giving my skin a break from full face of foundation but she basically just recommended this to me because it's like the lightest one that they have the lightest moisturizer it says light as a feather lavender moisturizer that disappears into oily or blemish prone skin which is like music to my ears I was like okay that is the one I'm getting it and it is so good and it feels so like silky smooth on your skin too afterwards it kind of just makes you feel like a baby like a moisturizer should but yeah I love this stuff and now for the night routine, which is a little bit more hefty, I would say. I think most people's night routines for their skin are a little bit more heavier. So the cleanser I use at night is Herbalism. Again, I use it both in the mornings and at night, so I'm not gonna talk about this all again. You just heard me talk about it. But I have started using a new like moisturizer duo, I guess. So what I use as a moisturizer now is just 100% pure, natural, and organic shea butter. Okay, people, you can find this on Amazon. You can use it anywhere, and I use it on my face because I feel like this definitely adds a lot, a lot lot of good natural moisture to your face especially at night it feels like you're putting on like a moisturizing mask and then you fall asleep and you're just like rejuvenated but like not too oily like it all soaks in over the nighttime and it's just great so I get a little bit of this in my hand and then I mix it with something that I actually heard about from Arden Rose Miss Arden Rose here on YouTube um, she told me not me you all of you guys she made a video about her skincare routine and raved about rosehip oil so then I went to Amazon naturally and looked for some 100% pure and organic rosehip oil and what I do with this now is I take about like four to five drops of it and I mix it in with my shea butter and then I just like mix it in my hands and then just moisturize my whole face and what rosehip oil is really really good for is getting rid of your acne scarring as well as like wrinkles and stuff like that and fine lines all of that good stuff and I got this one because I was reading the Amazon reviews and people were putting like their before and after pictures being like this shit changed my life so I was like I am in to that I'm getting it you know so yeah I've been loving this I've been using it for maybe like three weeks now and I'm a big big fan man big fan I'm gonna get up close here so you guys can see some of my acne scarring but it is definitely like faded really really like I, I can barely even see it it kind of blends in with my freckles which is a good thing um, but yeah I definitely have seen a lot of like pro 
progress with this stuff. And now for my spot treatment, which is just organic tea tree oil. This shit is amazing and I use it on all of my little, you know, like active pimples and then it kind of takes away all of the redness at least. This stuff is an antimicrobial, I believe is how you say it. So it basically just kills off like an active pimple and will kind of calm it down a little bit and be like, go to sleep, honey. You don't want to do this. You don't want to show up on her face now. That's what tea tree oil tells it and then it kills him. Sneak attack in his sleep. You wake up the next morning, it's gone. At least for me, most mornings. At least it's kind of like tamer, you know? I'm talking about zits here. Zits are tamer with this stuff, okay? And then the last thing that I use at night is just an eye treatment. So this is good if you're trying to prevent some, you know, wrinkles from happening. I figure why not start ahead of the line rather than starting when the wrinkles are already happening down the line? You know, it's just like, why not prevent them from happening? So that's what I'm doing now with this uh, Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with avocado. And it, it kind of is like a bright green color, which is interesting or like a bright yellowish. You can definitely see the avocado in there. But yeah, I just take a little bit of this on my finger and I go tap, 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 tap. It definitely takes a little bit to like sink into your skin. It kind of goes on thicker. So you definitely don't need too much of this. A little goes a long way. And then you wake up the next morning with your youthful looking eyes. Just kidding. I don't know if results are that quick, but it's definitely something that I'm using to just prevent the look of fine lines, crow's feet, all the kind of jazz that I don't want down the line. All right, now we're gonna slide into the last portion of this video, which is Megan's masks. And she has two of them. I don't know why I'm talking in third person. That's unnecessary. But this is a mask from Lush called Mask of Magnum NT, And this is something that I've been using and raving about for quite some time now. This is a face and body mask. So you can use it on like chest pimples you get. I get those from time to time, I'll be honest. And also back knee. I had a bunch of that in like high school. So I feel your pain out there, folks. And this will save you, I promise. Just kidding. I don't know your skin type. I can't promise anything, but I can say that this worked for me, okay? It's basically just like your regular minty looking mask and just feels rejuvenating on your face. It feels like tingly and cool and sweet and you're like, yes! That's how I feel whenever I have this on. Yeah! This is my all-time favorite mask. I probably use it about twice a week and whenever I have hella bad breakouts or whenever I take off like a full face of makeup, I always use this mask or I use this mask. They're pretty much interchangeable for me. Um, this mask I have been raving a lot about recently as well. I put this in like an I love this stuff video. This is the Super Mud Clearing Treatment from Glam Glow and it basically is just like this charcoal looking black mask And I was talking to this girl and raving about this mask at this Glam Glow event that I actually went to a couple nights ago And she was like, oh you like that mask? Like it really dries me out and I was like, you know what? I can see how it would do that. Okay, maybe it's because I have super like oily ish skin and acne prone skin I love it a lot because it just like sucks all the oil out of your face I feel like but if you have really dry skin, I definitely would not recommend this because you can definitely feel it like tightening your face a little bit and if you have super dry skin then I assume it would just feel a little irritating but basically it works it's not too harsh on me and I freaking love this especially for actually it being a clearing treatment I really really think that it helps out with like subsiding some of my breakouts and like getting rid of them so yeah big fan of this big fan of this love masks and these are my two top favorites and with that that is the end of my skincare routine folks I really really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did, please give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I put out videos every Wednesday. Also, I'm doing Vlogmas, so you should go and check out on the screen. I'll link it somewhere and in the description as well if you guys want to go and watch my everyday vlogs. I also hope that this helped you out in some way. Maybe I gave you some recommendations. So yeah, just let me know in the comments down below if you're going to try any of this stuff out. And I wish you luck on your skincare journey. Man, I know it's hard to like nail down a routine, so I wanted to share mine to like help you guys out a little bit. All right, have a great day or night whenever you're watching this and I will see you in my next one. Stay smiling. Bye. Will you stay just a little while back? Just a little